Hello and welcome to another beer review. And today we're going to be doing another kind of a kind of craft beer from Portugal. And it's from the Barona Barona Brewing Company and it's a porter. So we're going to be doing a porter from the Barona Brewing Company in Portugal, which was established in 2015. I don't know much about it. Um, we have tried some of their other beer. I think we tried a, a West Coast IPA and we also did uh, APA as well. They're roughly about three and a half euros a bottle. They're 33 ml. Sorry, 330 ml or 33 CL. And this is a six and a half percent by volume. They do have a little kind of bit at the back give you an idea of kind of aromas, bitterness, body, all that type of stuff. So for bitterness we're getting a two out of five. For aroma we're getting a three out of five and for body we're getting two and a half out of five and there's a bit of spill on it and it says God what does it say? As a porter based, it's uh, an English porter, an American porter, so it's a kind of a partner, it's a kind of a hybrid between an English and American porter. So that's what I basically see. And it's going to be dark brown in colour. With, uh, so it's covered with malts. With, of different roasts and as opposed to a kind of little kind of coffee aftertaste as well going wrong with the same. So yeah, let's get cracked in. And today I'm going to do the quick there we go, there's a thumbnail. Right, let's get it cracked. Oh, Put my bowl open. Right, let's get this poured. So there we go. This is the second porter we've tried in Portugal. We did do a super pop porter. And yeah, that's, mm, this does smell a bit more porterish. Well, we did a stout actually, not a porter. I think the super pop was a stout. But yeah, I'm getting kind of light, kind of expressive, kind of smells. I'm getting kind of like dark chocolate, so I'm um, getting that kind of bitterness kind of smells, as well as kind of molasses malt kind of smells. And as you can see, there's a colour, there's a kind of a tan coloured head, and uh, yeah, I would say it's a good colour. And it's six and a half percent. So let's see what it's like. Oh, right. Right, mm. so it's got a bit of coffee there, it's got a bit of real dark chocolate kind of bitterness. So this hops wise, a lot of times when I've been trying some port, especially around at Christmas time, you're getting a slight kind of hoppiness and floralness as well, which is going to be a slight kind of Turkish delight kind of uh, vibes. But no, but this is also getting quite light. Body wise, because obviously the warm environment. But yeah, yeah, it's quite nice. So let's break it down. Front of the mouth, I'm getting a kind of a light monk sweetness, just with a little kind of. Um, Molasses coming through, but without really the bitterness, but you are getting a kind of darker sugar kind of flavouring. And then it's moving on to the mid tongue, and that's when it's really starting to kind of develop some, some coffee aromas, especially at the start of the mid tongue. And then, of course, as it's moving on, you've still got a little underlying sweetness there, but it starts to kind of bring up the bitterness. You're starting to get that bitterness, you're starting to get a kind of really dark chocolate. And again, some bitterness with that. 
So you're getting, at the end of the kind of mid-tongue, you've got a little bit of coffee, but you're starting to get a lot of kind of more um, dark chocolate and bitterness. Moving on to the aftertaste, and that kind of dark chocolate, it just starts to kind of dissipate, and you're kind of left with a kind of more molasses bitterness at the end. But there's still that kind of little underlying sweetness all the way through, that kind of little malty sweetness, and yeah, that just makes it nicely balanced. But the flavours aren't too strong and too heavy, so it is lighter in body, which I think obviously for the type of environment it is basically been brewed for. Right? A warm working of southern um, European environment, so yeah, I can understand that. But yeah, as you can see, it's a nice kind of lively beer, it's well brewed, nicely balanced. Mm. And actually, yeah. Looks very nice. I would recommend this. Now, what would I give this out of, out of 10? Um, well, it's a bit unusual quarter. Because normally you would look at this and you think, oh, it's maybe, you know, it's they brewed it a bit too light, and it's just not got the body, just not got that kind of depth of flavour and all that, which it does actually have the depth of flavour, but it's not about powdering it. The flavours are there, and they're easy to find, but they're not that kind of overly strong and sickening. It just makes it a little bit lighter to make it better um, to enjoy. Maybe somebody had a motorbike, a little scooter. Um, so yeah, what would I give this? I'm going to give this a 7. I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10 because it's actually very nice. It's very refreshing. It's nice to see these type of beers um, being brewed in these kind of uh, warmer kind of areas of Europe. And it's actually very refreshing to have them as, a, as an offering. And it is obviously something different from the kind of usual fare that you'd expect to get down in these kind of more touristy holiday areas. So yeah. Very nice. I would recommend if you're down here, give it a go. As for price, well, like I've said in previous videos, I think basically this type of kind of more kind of craft esque um, kind of beer market with kind of developing in Portugal just now. So I would turn around and say, yeah, it's uh, it's a kind of probably a fair price for the kind of market from where it is. So yeah, seven out of ten. Thanks for watching. Cheers, and bye for now.